Welcome back everybody to another video here on Chemo 365 where I hope out of the 365 days out of the year you can find a video that you can relate to. Tonight we're going back under the sea checking out the Little Mermaid. always guys if you want to help support the channel please click that subscribe button down at the bottom leave as many comments as you want and if you really like that video please click that thumbs up button the first big question I had about the Little Mermaid was is it gonna translate onto the stage because Beauty and the Beast and the Lion King did a really good job now I haven't seen Beauty and the Beast on stage but I have seen the Lion King and I'll be doing a review on that later because I'm gonna watch it this season at the Smith Center but the way that they used the puppetry to make the animals, the music, the dance, when they brought that to the stage, it was very realistic. And you got two choices to make. When there is a cartoon already out, you can either decide to try to bring that cartoonish environment onto the stage, or you can try to make it more realistic like The Lion King. However, before talking about how it translated from cartoon to stage, I want to talk about the three major actors. You got Ariel, Prince Eric, and Ursula. So I show up, look in the program, and to my surprise, Ariel is Asian. I was like, yes, because I was expecting, you know, your typical super hot white girl with red hair. But the girl that played Ariel held it down. She was cute. She was perfect. She looked 16 years old, played the role really well. Big voice, acted really well with the guy that played Eric. This guy, whoever you are, Eric, out there, I hate you. So good looking, so talented. This guy's jaw was so square. I could see how good looking he was from the cheap seats. And my favorite actress throughout the whole play was Ursula. We're talking diabolical, humorous, cackles that were scaring her kids in the front row, and her costumes were unbelievable. These three guys, when they sang those songs, really brought me back to 1989, 1990, when I was in high school, and we put the Little Mermaid on our class banner, and we won that one, man, guys out there. If you know what I'm talking about, we won the banner competition with the Little Mermaid. Storyline wise, you find out a lot more information about Ariel's world on stage than you do in the cartoon. For example, Ariel's mom. You don't hear anything about Ariel's mom in the cartoon, but you find out in the play that she's killed by humans up top and that adds to the tension between the mer people down here and the humans up top. Relationship wise, again, you find out that Ursula not only lived in the palace with King Triton, but is her sister making her Ariel's auntie. And throughout the whole play, she's like, Ariel, come to your auntie, which is super creepy. Uh, she also has a shell. Uh, the cartoon, Ursula didn't have anything. She just had magic and like this cauldron, but she's carrying around this shell that she captures Ariel's voice in and she uses it uh, to kind of counteract, or not counteract, but it's a counterpart to king triton's trident and she's trying to get both of them together so she can rule the entire ocean so that's also in the play uh the thing that i was disappointed in not seeing is, is at the very ending right when they're about to kiss and get married uh ursula in the movie takes on a form and, and uses ariel's voice to kind of mesmerize and hypnotize prince eric that didn't happen and it was a little bit confusing in that scene in the play but you kind of know what's going on she misses the deadline ursula comes out and starts like freaking everybody out with their crazy tentacles uh but those all all together when you put them in together translated very well to on stage speaking about the stage let's talk about the props and the costumes and all of that great stuff if i had to summarize this play in one word it would be colorful they did a fantastic job in bringing all of the great colors from the cartoon and getting them on stage and again off the top of my head if i remember correctly in my mind the three songs that I thought were the best or the three scenes that were burned into my brain. The first one, of course, is going to be Under the Sea. So many different types of fish and the way that they used the props to bring them in and all of it moving throughout this big coral reef scene were fantastic. The second one, Kiss the Girl, the usage of the props to make music, also fantastic. And the final scene that I can remember just making me really re like, wow, that is fantastic was when Ariel loses her, her like, tail and her feet come out, right? They picked her up and there was a lot of aerial acrobatics, which was another thing, a lot of people coming in on wires. But she literally went up, started spinning around and spinning around. And as she spun around, as she kind of hit the very ceiling, the roof of the stage, her tail fell off and then her legs popped out and then they dropped her kind of back down to the, the floor and she was on the beach. 
And that whole scene was just mesmerizing though. But I think the number one scene to display how beautiful and bright the colors were was Under the Sea. Now when doing something like this and you decide to go the cartoonish route, which is fantastic for kids, right? The little kids were enjoying themselves. But you take a little bit of a risk and I think this is probably the reason why it didn't do very well on Broadway is a lot of it wasn't believable. A lot of it, let, let me back up a second. I would say 80% of it was believable, but because it was so cartoon-like, that extra 20% of it, like some of the costumes were really off. Like I did not like Sebastian's costume. Um, Scuttle, some of the birds looked super amateur hourish, And the way that they made the ocean look was this kind of translucent purple sheet that was running through the stage. It looked super cheap. I mean, it looked okay, but I mean, you're trying to put on a Broadway play here. Um, and some of, some of the props, not all of them, and this, again, could be me just because I, I'm from Hawaii and I know what a reef looks like. I would have liked the reefs to look a little bit more realistic versus too comical. So again, bright side is kids are going to love it. But in the long run, when you take too much of a cartoonish look, sometimes it can have a negative aspect. Like it, it wasn't very believable for me in certain areas because of the costuming and some of the prop decisions that were made. But overall, is it a good play? Yes, the music is going to carry it. Most of the props were great. And when you look at it as a whole, it's color and how they really transform the stage and to make it look like you're under the sea by using acrobatic wiring, it's a fantastic play. I think you guys should go and see it. So guys, that was my review of The Little Mermaid. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed to Chemo 365, please do give me the thumbs up on this video. And remember, I'll catch you guys later. Thank you.